What is up everybody? Snowy day here in the Appalachian Mountains of Pennsylvania. Great day to be out. And I was at camp. I had a little camp set up. I ate a little bit and on my way out, I started thinking. One question that I get asked all the time is about my bedroll underneath my backpack and how do you protect the things in the bedroll and is this something that people should maybe think about utilizing? So the first thing about that is yes, this is definitely something that I would highly recommend people utilize. The reason that I like this technique so much is that we have our main backpack, the one that we carry all the time with us. We don't have to unload it. We have the gear that we love with us and we just add in extra sleep gear. And that's all I really utilize this bottom roll for is sleep gear. So I would highly recommend this. Um, now, being able to attach this to the bottom, um, you can use big rings, all right, brass rings on the bottom of your backpack. In my case, I just used paracord. I tied paracord from my backpack straps to my bedroll straps, and um, it works great. It hangs underneath your backpack, and you are golden. But the more important question I get asked all the time is how do you keep your gear dry and protected when it's hanging underneath your backpack? When I tell you, you're going to be like, oh, man, that was like a no-brainer. So as I stated already in the video, what I hang off my backpack is my sleep gear, okay? So that could be a wool blanket, um, my tarp, my gum blanket, maybe um, my heavy socks for sleeping. I don't worry about putting that stuff inside my pack. So I utilize my tarp as the cover to protect all that stuff. It covers me and protects me, so why can't it protect my gear? Um, so what I would like to show now is because I'm already coming out of camp, the stuff is already a mess, okay? This tarp was protecting me from the snow that was coming through a little bit earlier, and um, I had my blanket out, I had it around me for a little bit, and you can see that this thing is just, it's all packed with snow and ice at this point, but when I open this up, everything's gonna be nice and clean on the inside, nice and dry for utilization in the future. But my tarp, who cares? If it's wet, it's gonna protect me anyway. Next time I set it up and the snow comes again, it's gonna get wet again, so we don't worry about that all too much. Okay, now as I'm taking this off, one important fact to understand is that when I'm carrying it, it looks like this, okay? What's important is that that last fold, and we're gonna do this somewhat in reverse here, but the last fold of that blanket as I roll it up should be facing downward. We never wanna face it upward because that's gonna catch snow, rain, sleet, anything like that. We wanna make sure that that is always face downward. That way, anything wet is gonna beat off it and not get trapped in it. Okay, so as we continue our unfolding here, okay, um, I just rolled it up, not really folded it, more rolled. But when we get towards the end, all right, of the tarp itself, you're gonna have the end with all these different layers, okay? And what we don't wanna do is just roll this up and have those layers exposed. Um, before you get it totally finished and totally rolled up, what you wanna do is take that end and tuck it back in on itself, okay? And then finish the roll. What that's gonna do is give you two nice, smooth edges facing downward once it's on your pack. It's gonna eliminate every little bit of anything getting up inside there, and that's really important. So I unfold that, I roll this back, and now I just open my tarp up, and you can see that it is all protected, okay? So my blanket's in here, it's nice and dry. This section, other than a couple little snow flurries that fell down while I was packing it up, um, is not in there, okay? My blanket itself is good to go. Um, another little thing that I always like to tell people is make sure that your bedroll's not too big compared to you and your backpack. It just makes it a hassle tramping around the woods, especially if you're going off trail or anything like that. So make sure it's the right width. Um, and if we're doing this now in the reverse fashion, of course, I would take the inside of my tarp, what I was looking at when I was under it. That's the dry section. We're gonna face that up. And then the wet section is gonna be face down, okay? So we lay this in here really quickly like this. And then all that I do is I start back here and I just begin to fold, okay? Fold and roll. I'm not worried if there's snow trapped in here. If you're super worried about it, well, go ahead and dust it off. But I know this thing's gonna hold up till I get to my next location. Again, this front flap, I'm just flipping back. Roll it up. And now, my bed roll is ready to go. Sides are protected, perfect.
So listen, putting the bedroll underneath your backpack with all your sleeping gear is definitely a viable option and it's something that you should maybe consider. Again, I love the fact that I have my primary backpack with all the gear that I love to carry and I don't have to swap it out or switch it out, which I have done in the past and it's fun and we all love gear, but sometimes I just wanna take my normal pack with me and this gives me that option to be able to do so. So backpack, bedrolls, I'm going to give them two thumbs up. Love them. So this was Dan Wolak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.